Anyway, you want a taco while you're waiting? Because this is going to take forever. Hello, Hoppers, and welcome to a highly requested video uh, on my channel. Uh, I put up that com almost completely unedited video of myself editing a Neebs Gaming video, and a lot of people were really into it, actually, and a lot of people wanted a lot more um, clarification as about what I was doing. Um, and I have to be a little careful here because... Um, this kind of walks the line on if it's a uh, Neebs Gaming behind the scenes or a me behind the scenes, uh, because Neebs Gaming behind the scenes videos are actually for our patrons on Patreon, and we have a similar video coming out soon of me editing for them. But I thought I'd walk you through my personal process uh, just to enlighten you a bit on everything that I do. And speaking of process, I'm actually recording in a really weird setup for me right now. I'm at home. So as you can see, I'm working on my laptop here, hooked up to a 4K monitor and everything, and off to the side, Ellie, the computer I designed and 3D printed, is running Audacity because I didn't want to figure out installing Audition uh, and getting all the licensing worked out and stuff. Because you can only have it on two computers at once, and currently those computers are my laptop here and the desktop at work. So, yeah, I've got a little bit of a weird setup for myself, but hopefully it works out for this video. And now, let's go to the crappy webcam. Alright, so I've clearly already gotten started on this video, so I've skipped a couple steps here. And immediately something may jump out to you, that this orange track right here is way too long. That's because that is Simon, and Simon consistently forgets to stop recording. Anyway, Simon, as you can see, is orange, which means he is orange right here as well. I try to match up everything with colors, so the first step I do once I've uh, gotten all the footage and audio and run some compressors and normalization on the audio just to make it a bit cleaner, I take it all into Premiere and put it all in different folders, label it with their real-life names because it's easier for me to follow and they're shorter, and give them all colored labels so that everything lines up so very nicely. After that, I get in here on the timeline, and there's a bit of setup. They've got right here, everybody is checking their audio levels to make sure they're working. It looks like, I think this was the day that Tony had a bit of an issue. So the first thing I end up doing with all of this is syncing up their video with their audio. So it looks like the first person to give me a sync was Doralius. So if I put that right here, I can make this bigger so you can see it. All right, this is for Ada. Jump, jump, jump. He likes to eat when uh, he's recording, I think, because he knows it infuriates me. <laughs> and then next we've got uh, Simon right here. And I'm hitting escape. Three, two, one, click. Three, two, one, click. Do you know if you're shadow play? All right. And then the next I will have to go through and get all of these. So let's see. I'll do one on camera here, then probably jump forward a little bit. Uh, I'm, I, I'm. This is for my sync. Uh, options, exit, options, exit. Okay, so I've got Duralius right there. And we're gonna go into his footage and find that. Oh, looks like I found it already, so... Let's back it up. Let's actually go to exit. Alright, so I'm gonna... It's, it's hard to get it exact because there's he didn't actually click or anything or give me a countdown. So his sync is not going to be quite as good as everybody else's, but it'll be close enough. Um, I'm going to go ahead. And then I'm going to drag this little baby right in there. Then I'm going to put him in order just because I'm anal, you know, whatever. So I'm going to move on to whoever's next and probably jump forward to the next step whenever that actually happens. All right, so nearly done with this part, but I have one extra angle to put in this time around because of um, what I decided to do. So you can see uh, Appsor doesn't show up till a little bit later. He was out of the office. He had to run go do something. Uh, so I actually logged in at some point as him and just set him up as a spectator camera for a little while. Uh, but it didn't last very long because he got here right after I set it up. So I only got a little bit of that going and then he had to take himself out of god mode put himself back as a normal player so what i ended up doing is i went into the other room and turned on my own computer and logged in as anthony so i could get just this other angle of the um lighthouse being built and i need to find where i did that so i think what i decided was just now that i'm gonna look for 10:16 in the time at the top and i think that's right around when neebs puts down a block. There's something racist about it. What? There. So, 
that's where I need it to go. And now I need to find that spot in here. There we go. Found the spot. All right. Oop. And now I've done a goof, so I need to go there. All right. Now I can drop this in at the very bottom and have all of my footage lined up. Sweet. All right, and I've switched it to a nice lavender to go well with my little rainbow theme here. So that is my first step, getting everything synced up now. Uh, and now that I have my full shebang, which is what I affectionately call it, I need to go through and make my first pass of actually cutting audio. Or not not just audio, the whole video, but I only look at the audio on my first entire run through. So that takes quite a while. It's probably the most boring step of the entire editing process. So first of all, I'm going to go and duplicate my thing here. I'm going to name it Pass 1. And double click on that to open it up because I want to keep this around as is forever uh, and go into pass one and start messing with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find where the actual video starts in here, probably. You sleeping, Simon? So that's probably the first line right there. I may not actually use it as the opening dialogue, but that's where the video starts, more or less. Okay, so we've got all that done. Boop. Take that off. I'm going to go to the end, cut off all the extra fat over here. I'm probably going to leave this one as far as I want to leave it because I think it might be useful for the outro, but I'll cut off Simon's stuff here. Boop. And now we are down to an hour and 30 minutes. This is actually a really short recording. Uh, let's see, the full shebang was two hours, 50 minutes because someone forgot to stop recording like usual, but this is where I start going through and just finding all the gaps that I want to get rid of. So I can already see one right here. There's nothing going on. I'm probably not going to jump ahead because I like to go through just so I don't uh, from beginning to end just so I don't miss anything. Uh, but I can see one right there that's already going to be something that'll be cut in just a minute because there's really nothing going on. There's no one talking. These spikes right here are probably just coughs or single words shouted from a, uh, room to room. Show you snot. Give you a what for? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're being goofy, but it's not an actual scene. They're probably not even anywhere near each other in the game. So that's something that I can't keep. But I'm just going to go ahead and start from the beginning and see how it goes. Simon! No! Where are you at? You sleeping, Simon? No! So I'm going to keep that natural pause there for when he says no, but then I'm going to speed it up a little bit just to make the conversation a little bit more tight. Sleeping, Simon! No! Where are you at? Are you right outside? I'm on the... I'm going a little bit, little bit longer of a pause there because he's thinking about his next question. No! Where are you at? Are you right outside? I'm on the roof. On your roof? Yeah. Alright, so I, he still needs a little bit of a delay there because he's thinking, but not quite as long as that because there's a fine line between having a natural delay and having a boring delay. I'm on the roof! On your roof? Yeah! Probably cut that down a little bit as well. Are you right outside? I'm on the roof! On your roof? Yeah! Hold on, I'm, let me get on my roof! Okay! So, he doesn't need quite as long of a pause there. Part of the thing is that they talk a little bit... I think they talk a little bit slower than normal just because of... Uh, they're trying to figure out where each other are in game rather than just having a conversation. Yeah. So speed it up Hold a on. Bit. Let me get on my roof. Okay. We should learn uh, Morse code. What? We should learn Morse code. Roof. Okay. We should learn uh, Morse code. Learn uh, Morse code. What? We should learn Morse code. I think that. Oh, there you are. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I'm gonna send you a message. You ready? All right. All right. So up here, I'm assuming he's just walking through his house to get to his roof. Oop. I think that. Oh, there you are. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I'm what I'm gonna do is actually turn off the layers that aren't me so I, I want to see if any angle at all I want to see my spectator angle um, now I know it's really small in here usually I have it on a separate screen entirely 
but I'm keeping it on the screen just so you guys can see what I'm doing because otherwise it won't be here at all. That'd be a good idea. I'm gonna send you a message, you ready? All right. No, I don't have any peanut butter. Okay, thanks. See you in the morning. All right. And that's a fun little intro scene. Has no uh, bearing on the entire rest of the video. I might actually put it before an intro. Uh, it's a little bit long for that, though. It's 30 seconds, so we'll see. I can tighten it up a little bit. I can get rid of the re reiteration right here. Actually, I can just go ahead and do that now. So I can get rid of him saying what. Just go straight to... Force code. I think that... Oh, there you are. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I'm going to send you a message. You ready? All right. And I can tighten this up a little bit as well. Boop. Make him respond a little bit more readily. Boop. Boop. No, I don't have any peanut butter. Okay, thanks. See you in the morning. All right. So now it's down to 28 seconds. It's not that much of a difference, but it just making things tighter makes it feel faster overall as well. All right, so I'm going to continue like this and probably come back in quite some time once I've gotten through this first pass. All right, well, okay, clearly this is not the office at work. Um, this is my home again. Uh, we ended up spending the entire day at the office recording multiple episodes of Seven Days to Die because Doralius is going to be out of town, so instead, uh, this is my room again that's more messy and I need a shower and stuff. But, I finally finished this, I'm way behind. Um, right now it's, I think, 39 minutes and a half long, and I finally got the rough cut done, uh, and I've got a lot more to go, so I, uh, am going to finish this up after a shower. First I'll explain a couple things though, uh, these chunks right here are, um, just uh, scenes where Thick is by himself. I generally save those for later because he speaks in small chunks, generally. <laughs> and I just kind of want to cover that later. It's just, you know, let's see. This place well, kind of. All right, so treasure time. Let's not hit any landmines. Because that was bad. Bird's nest. Cinder blocks. Dirt. What's that noise? What's that noise? <laughs> Show your face. God, I'm gonna hit a lamp. So yeah, he speaks in chunks quite a bit. So when you see a really exciting uh, Thick scene, it's a lot of editing that's put it together. Um, I absolutely love Thick, but <laughs> it's just something that happens. You know, uh, he's really great with other people in the scene. Uh, everybody kind of has their own quirks, that's his. Anyway, uh, that's that explanation. Now, I need to make this shorter, so that's what I'm doing next, after my shower. Alright, so I've still got quite a mess going on, uh, but at least I'm showered, I've eaten, and now I can go on to my next step, uh, which will be to duplicate this pass, so that I can start over anew with pass number two, uh, and, oh my gosh, yeah, there we go, and get going on getting this shorter, so hopefully by the end of pass two, this one's a pretty easy one. Um, I'm really far behind on it. It's almost 10 on uh, Wednesday, and these are due noon on uh, Friday, so well, <laughs> do actually wait before that. But um, this is a pretty easy one to cut through. I'm still not gonna pay too much attention to the angles, um, and what I'm just gonna do is go through and listen to it. You sleeping, Simon? And see what I can get rid no! of. No, where are you at? So this section here with the fake Morse code, I'll probably just end up keeping as like a cold open or something. Uh, but there's a lot of things that might end up being redundant that I can get rid of. I'll also shorten the, these two whole sections where uh, Tony, sorry, where Thick is by himself, uh, and find other ways to creatively make this shorter than it is. Um, I might get rid of entire scenes. I might get rid of things that reiterate that I that I missed the first time through, where someone says something and then someone else repeats it. Uh, there's a lot of little things you can do to make it shorter. So what I'm gonna do is just go through and see what I can get rid of. Hey, I can't sleep. I know, neither can I. I too cannot sleep. Uh, what do you want to do? What is this? Know. What's this thing? Like rebar. Yep, that's a rebar. Oh, I wow. put it there. It's you for. It's. I'm going for a. So that I can probably get shorter. Do cannot sleep. Uh, what do you want to do? What is this? Know. What's this thing? Like. Re So that's not answered yet. It actually goes into a different part of the conversation. So, 
can probably just have him say, what is this? Looks like rebarb. Which he says like it's rebarb by instead of rebar. Uh, and see if that, can, that just gets a few seconds out and... No, neither can I. A lot of streamlining like that gets everything to tighten up a bit. I, I too cannot sleep. What's this thing? Like rebar. Yep, that's a rebar. Oh, I wow. put it there. It's you... for it's. I'm going for a. I'm trying to figure out looks. Yeah. I might put rebar on the outside of this whole damn building. Nope. HOA, I never go for that. It's tacky. No, I it's not. Even think of that. It's art. If okay. If you want to build something that crazy looking, go down there to uh, Dralis's Death Bridge community. Dude, you tell me that you don't think that art comes in all shapes and sizes just because you if if, if it makes you hate it, chances are you almost like it because. So I forgot to leave a breath there, so I actually need to extend this out a little bit because that sounds really weird. Uh, just leave a little bit of a pause to make it sound more natural. There probably the pause probably was about that long to begin with. I don't Do know what if, I was thinking. If if it makes you hate it, chances are you almost like it because hate and like are really close. Well, listen, that's my place right next door, and I gotta stare at your place directly. Oh yeah, talk about tacky. Look at that. Try fixing your fucking I'm roof. I'm going to. You're going to. Well, when? Maybe when I should... get when I get the stuff too. Yeah, but you've been fixing the inside, and I've been helping you with that. By the way, you're welcome. And you still haven't even fixed the most important part from the outside. And I'm your neighbor. I don't want to look at that shit. Yeah, but I'm not putting rebar all over everything. Yeah, hey, well, you know what? Fix that, and we'll see what I can do about the rebar. Well, of course, I want to fix it. All hey, right, we'll fix it. He's now. still gonna. He's still gonna put the rebar, okay. even if you fix it. That's a good ending to the conversation there. I'm gonna see what else I can do. Yeah, well. flashlight on your gun. That's cool. Yeah. Ha ha. Cool. What's uh? What do you want to do? The night's young, I think. Or is it morning? Why am I hot? I, I need to take something off. Yeah, you look like you're bundled up, man. Yeah, let me go ahead and strip down a little bit. So you know what time it says ha. the time is 3:43 in in the morning. Yeah, so it's almost morning. Right, it's almost morning. Yeah. So what are we doing in the morning? Uh, well, we gotta we gotta get that lighthouse done. I need a lot of paint. I <sighs> Man, this is a really scattered conversation. I think what I need to do is start thinking about a real place to stay during the horde, because so far there is no place Good morning, guys. that I trust. Good morning, Dralius. Hey. Hey, hey, how'd you guys sleep? Uh, we you didn't. Got no clothes on, man. We couldn't sleep. Yeah. Yeah, couldn't sleep. Oh, that's a good t Oh, look, you got a flashlight. So that's already reiterating the flashlight again. Yeah. You've got, like, all the tech gear. Like, you're that fu- Okay. I wonder if I can make it go straight to Duralius coming into the scene. Please. Good morning, guys! Did I... Alright, so I'm gonna do this. Now what's helpful is that Duralius is actually in a different room from everyone else. His audio doesn't bleed as much as everybody else's, so... Oop. I can grab everyone else's... And I'm going to be cleaning this up later anyway, but I can grab everyone else's, scoot it over. They probably won't be audible, so I can be a little bit more free with how I cut it. Uh, and then... Let's see what happens there. Hey, you look like you're bundled up, man. Good morning, guys! Oh, wow, I didn't even have a... Okay, so it's actually in a different spot. I'm your neighbor, I don't want to look at that shit! Yeah, but I'm not putting rebar all over everything! Hey, well, you know what? Fix that, and we'll see what I can do about the rebar. Alright, so I actually like it going there. So I can get even more of it out, and let's get rid of that little bit of pick up there, and see if we can get it just to be Duralius. Good morning, guys. That I trust. Good morning, Duralius. All right, so <laughs> interesting. Good morning, guys. Guys, morning, Dralius. Hey. All right, so you can still hear him a little bit in the background, but it'll be covered up by whatever game audio I'm using at the time. So maybe that one, uh, as well as any music I have on there, I'll, I'll fix it with a few different th things. So free bar. Good morning, guys. Morning, Dralius. Hey. hey. All right, so it's already a little bit harder to hear. Hey. How'd you guys sleep? Uh, we you didn't. Got no clothes on, man. We couldn't sleep. Yeah. Yeah, couldn't sleep. Well, it's a good. T oh, look, you got a flashlight. Yeah. You've got, like, all the tech gear. Like, you're that fucking guy that just... Well, that I found guy. it. Huh? I mean, I found it. I'm not gonna not use it if I find it. Like, I still just have a club, you know? But I gave you a... You had a hunting rifle at one point in time. I remember giving That's you bullets. That's possible. Just don't have bullets, you know? Some people have bullets for days. 
How's your sledgehammer going? Uh, sledgehammer's, uh, it's okay. Yeah. It's, it's slow. So this is dragging out a lot. I need to find, find a way to make this shorter. Um, it's a good t Oh, look, you got a flashlight. Yeah. You've got, like, all the tech gear. Like, you're that- But this also leads to a, a conversation about Corvettes that actually comes up a couple times, so I need to keep that part in. I just need to get rid of the slow bits. That fucking guy that just- well, that I found guy. it. Huh? I mean, I found it. I'm not gonna not use it if I find it. Like- So I wonder if I cut it here and then find the Like other I part. still just have a club, you know? But I gave you a you had a hunting rifle at one point in time. I remember yeah, it's possible. Possible. Just don't have bullets, you know. Some people have bullets for days. How's your sledgehammer going? Uh sledgehammer's uh, it's okay. Yeah. It's, it's slow. So you really gotta tell Oh, morning tie. So you really gotta tell Oh, morning tie. So if I think of the footage to make it so that the morning time sound overlaps with everything else, which is what I'm going to end up doing, um, then I can make it just seem like a seamless transition. You'll have no idea that I cut here. And where's the other cut? There. Fucking guy that just... Well, that I found guy. it. Huh? I mean, I found it. I'm not going to not use it if I find it. Like, I still... Oop. That's going to be fading in on top of him saying this, so he'll just pause for a second and say, Oh, morning time. Found it. I'm not gonna not use it if I find it. Oh, morning tie. So it's not quite natural yet. Um, I'm gonna give him a second to realize this and just pull the game over. Not gonna not use it if I find it. Oh, morning tie. It sounds super unnatural right now, but it won't once it's all put together. Morning. Uh, yeah, you gotta time it out right, I otherwise, I yeah. picture you living off somewhere with, like, multiple turrets protecting your place, and we don't... So I don't know what he's talking about there, because I've cut it out. Morning. Uh, yeah, you gotta time it out right, I otherwise, I yeah. I picture you... So I can get rid of that, because it doesn't make any sense. I can start it here, probably get rid of that yeah, even, but... It won't sound unnatural there, either. Time. Good morning. I yeah. picture you living off somewhere with like multiple turrets protecting your place, and we don't have a fucking clue about it. <laughs> no, I don't have anything like that. Hey, Actually, so I... today I'd like to make some TNT, and what? uh, and. So this comes up, but it never actually happens. But I have to keep it because of the dynamite it leads to. Yeah. Experiment with that a little bit. That's great, Simon. I like your rebar thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's a TNT. All right. It's like a hipster like modern here. artsy right. thing. Yeah. Hey, thick. You said you wanted to do science. You know, I, have you made any TNT yet? Let me see. I think I made two. Okay. And I have one. So I'd be happy to give you one. Oh, or, that'd or, be great. Yeah. Or uh, I don't, I'll be your guinea pig in case I die. Because I really would like to figure out how to throw it correctly. I haven't done that yet. Well, I think with TNT, you can actually plant it and then, like, detonate it. Hey, you Simon, Thick it. probably has a Corvette already as well, somehow. I don't know why you think this. Like, there's been plenty of times where I've, like, given you, like, bullets and... Uh, so it's going to come up later that he can throw it, which makes this you a little bit redundant. Um, so I'm going to have Duralius interrupt right here. I think I made two. Okay. And I have one. So I'd be happy to give you one. Oh, or, that'd or... be great. That'd be great. Hey, you Simon, Dick it. probably has a Corvette already as well, somehow. I don't know why you think this. Like, there's been plenty of times where I've, like, given you, like, bullets, and uh, I'm not sure what, what happens to this stuff. I don't even like the new Corvettes. I'll stick with the old classics, but, you know, come on. What are we doing? Uh, do you have that TNT? I want to do... Uh, there it is. You want to do it. I kind of want to do something. Is it, is it dynamite or TNT? Hmm. Ah, oh, I believe TNT... You set down, you can set down and ignite, but dynamite you throw. Simon, this I don't... is a stick of dynamite. Okay. Oh. Just put put it away, Simon. Well, well wait. Come well, on, let's go. Out... Oh, oh, here. Let's go out here. All right, yeah. Science. Hey, um, another science experiment. I wonder if you guys have any food you could spare and if it would help me. Well, what you could do is you can go out and get... I really don't like including that. I just feel like it would mess up continuity if I get rid of it because there's been like three episodes in a row where he's starving at the beginning of the episode which is really frustrating <laughs> get your own food because you but seem uh, to as be, far as in the moment right now yeah but you're ungrateful most of the time yeah like right now like you've accused me of like having corvettes and turrets yeah but yeah. we're just we're just joking around yeah but that's kind of his sound insulting 
thick. He's like, he okay. comes up to you. I can probably get him some food you could, out of the vending machine. But you're encouraging him coming up to you in the future, being an asshole, and then asking for things. What? Don't what? you think that's kind of a shitty habit we should break him of? Yeah, I agree. Well, well yeah. Uh, so don't <laughs> reward it. In this case, I'm gonna, Simon, I'm going to turn the other cheek. If only there were a man... Who All right, so the reason I kept it is because it signals Neeb's arrival. Uh, without that, it doesn't make sense that he's coming back shouting that, so I've got to keep that whole scene. It's funny, anyway. To be honest, I want to keep most of the stuff I cut regardless. Um, I was a viewer for a long time. I know what people like, um, and I know that I would like to see most of this. But to keep the energy up, I get rid of certain things. And so does everyone there. So like, it, It's not unique to me. Uh, but you get rid of certain things just to keep the pacing up. Uh, not necessarily to make them look better, but just to keep it... Uh, brevity is a soul of wit. So if, if you spend too much time lingering on something, even, that, even though that's the way people naturally talk, it just seems a little slow. Uh, so you want to do what you can to accelerate it wherever possible. And, and that's why when you're recording, it makes it really hard to do the whole m m m mouth moving thing in certain games because we move everything around so much to make it fit well. It Yeah. But in an ideal world, as much of this as possible would be kept because I, I also really like that feel, like the, the Neapolvania feel where basically just the the empty space was cut out and nothing else. So that's awesome that way. And I do like it that way, but if you're going for, like, if you're targeting like, a 25 minute episode, you have to make sacrifices to keep the overall video um, as palatable as possible for everyone. So. Thousand? Simon, could you uh, throw that dynamite stick at this man coming up the street? Yes. How do I throw again? No, don't do it. I'm I was kidding. I'm going to. It's right here. What harm? We'll figure out, what, what, unless the science is going to be oh, wasted. Oh, man, if you mess up the street, okay. science. Okay. that would drive him nuts. Oh, I, that makes me want to do it. Should I just do it on the dirt right here and see what it does? Dralis, if you go past Absurd's house and hang a left, you'll see the street of food. Really? Yeah. F food street. A th That's what the a thank you. Uh, oh, a, you're welcome. Just bowed to him. A welcome. Is that a curtsy? A I don't. Curtsy. I want to see this okay. first. Though. Yeah, yeah. A Go thank ahead. Thank you. It, it. So we're only four minutes into the episode. I've cut out more than a minute worth, which hopefully means that this will end up around. Uh, at this rate, it'll end up around 28 minutes, which is actually, excuse me, which is actually a little bit too long. Still, hopefully, I'll be able to cut out more, but we'll see later on. All right, it's even later, but at least it's the same day-ish. Uh, and it's even messier in my room, so I'm dazzling you with colorful lights so that hopefully you can't notice as well. Uh, anyway, I've finished the second pass. I've come down from almost 40 minutes to about 29 minutes, 35 seconds, which is actually, is actually a lot longer than I expected it to be. I thought this one would be about 24 minutes. It may well end up being that long once I do the next step, but now that I've gotten it down to the final cut-ish, uh, I can go ahead and start picking the angles and everything. I do this kind of weird compared to most people. That's why I kind of wanted to make this because my process is kind of funky. I cut for audio first. Don't even pay attention to the angles unless I'm looking for specific things that I did as the spectator cam, uh, which is really helpful to know what I've done already for myself. I'm my own cameraman, so I can I already know what I want uh, before I even start editing it. So I'll, I'll be looking for my own shots, which is why I always have my uh, layer right here, the yellow one selected. Otherwise, I'm going to start going through now and picking the angles that work best for everything. Um, you can see a couple things here. If you see these tiny little gaps in the yellow, that's where I've left spots for transition shots for me. So establishing shots and everything. Um, as well as uh, a lot of them I may not have to record. I, I usually am pretty good to myself and get them, but I've got all those there. And then a couple other things. Um, I've cleaned... I've, not really cleaned up, but I've made it so that I've got scenes blocked out so uh, I can see who's in what scene, um, just at least vaguely, you know. So uh, if there's pink, that means Neebs is in the scene, so everything's going to be there. Uh, if it's down to here, then that's, you know, it, these are just uh, thick by himself, so I, I can see whose audio's where and all that. Anyway, uh, one more thing right here. This blue line is where I might need a pickup line because there was some commotion going on behind uh, the scenes a little bit as far as uh, what Simon and Absro were up to, which made uh, Neeb's speech a little bit awkward here. So, yeah, make a full one, but man, wouldn't it be awesome to have a rocket launcher? It would be. It would be a lot of fun. Yeah. I look forward to the day that we can rocket launch. 
So it's not even an important line, but it just sounds really awkward there. And I can get rid of the audio in the background and all that, but I, it, uh, it's doubtful be that I'll get this re-recorded because I very rarely go for that. But I've got that highlighted in case I want to grab it tomorrow when we're all at the office. So now I need to go ahead and duplicate this thing again. And set it up as my third pass. I don't really name these anything specific because I my approach is different for every project. This is generally uh, the way I'll approach it though. Oh, and one other thing. Um, as you can see, I've got the full shebang, which was the original thing that I started up with right here. And, you know, it's it's three hours long or whatever. And then I've got my first pass, second pass, third pass. But these other two things, the extracts and outtakes. Extracts are just scenes or parts of scenes that I've gotten rid of that don't really contribute much. Um, they might still be really funny, they might still be fine otherwise, but they, they're either redundant or they don't move anything along at all, so I'll put them in here. Unless they're really good, unless they're really funny, then I'll stick them in the outtakes folder because they don't fit quite in the, vi in the video overall, but they're still really good by themselves, so these I hold on to for when we eventually start making outtakes videos, which will hopefully be really soon on the channel. All right, so I, what we were thinking for this first scene, I think, was that it was going to be just a cold open. Um, so if I keep it, I won't need much of an establishing shot other than just a wide shot. I won't need any. I won't need it to be synced up with music or anything because the music will start here for my actual intro. Uh, and I don't usually do cold opens on this show. I think I've only done it once actually. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is just see. You sleeping, Simon? No. Where are you at? Are you right? All right, so I'm going to give it a couple seconds before he says you sleep in Simon, just so that the audience can take in what's happening. Not too long, because this is just a cold open. About two seconds, yeah, so let's put it here. And hopefully I have a good wide. I, it looks like I'm moving. You sleep? All right, so where do I get set up? Alright, so I'm gonna go scrub through here. Oop, looks like I got set up pretty soon in there. Right there, alright. So I'm just gonna shift this over, give it a couple seconds to breathe, and then probably jump to his angle so that this can line back up afterwards. And there will be actual audio on this as well. So actually, I might. Uh, I don't usually do it in this order, but I'm probably gonna move ahead. Go ahead and move his audio over, just because I can already see that there's nothing on this waveform. Yeah, there's no audio in there, but this one. It's got a lot going on. So. You sleeping, Simon? No. Where are you at? What the heck was that? Ah, right, so, gotta, boop, boop, boop. that was showing off uh, Duralius' angle for a second. Let's see, so we've got his. You sleeping, Simon? No! I cut to him here. You sleeping, Simon? No! Where are you at? Are you right outside? I'm on the roof. On your roof? Yeah. Oh. So I don't want all those little cuts in there, that's just really hard to watch. I'm gonna pull this over. Oh, where are you at? Are you right outside? I'm on the roof. On your roof? Yeah. Hold on. I'm, let me get on my roof. Okay. So maybe I'll cut over to him right in the middle of that sentence. But then also get rid of that. Delete that. Scoot this over so that there's a natural progression. Hold on. I'm, let me get on my roof. Okay. We should learn uh, Morse code. I think that... Oh, there you are. Yeah, that'd be good. That doesn't work so well, so I'm going to put it there. I'm, let me get on my roof. Okay. We should learn uh, Morse code. I think that. Oh, there you, there you are. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I'm gonna send you a message. You ready? All right. Boop. So for this, I want to cut wide. Sorry, I stopped talking there for a little bit, but um, I'm starting to think about what I want to do. I keep forgetting I'm recording this. So let's see. Actually, I'm gonna turn on. Just a little bit of audio. It won't be everything, um, but let's see. You sleeping, Simon? No. Where are you at? Are you right outside? I'm on the roof. 
On your roof? Yeah. Hold on. I'm, let me get on my roof. Okay. I don't like how that lines up, so... I'm gonna make it seem like he realized sooner that he saw Neebs up there, because otherwise... I think that- oh, there you- So he turns around there. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt, even though he really didn't notice that well. Because it needs to make sense that he's saying, I'm gonna get up on the roof. Yeah. Hold on. I'm, let me get on my roof. Okay. We should learn, uh, Morse code. I think that- oh, there you are. Okay, uh, yeah. I give him way too much credit now, because he's a clairvoyant. Uh... <laughs> So he should notice there, which is there. All right, scoot it over. I'm, I'm, let me get on my roof. Okay. Yeah, that lines up. We should learn uh, Morse code. I think that. Oh, there you are. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I'm gonna send you a message. You ready? All right. All right message. There we go. You ready? All right. Boop. That's not even visible. See, that's something I'm worried about for mobile, because I know that you can see the dot there. Boop. Boop. Oh, it's so tiny. Boop. No, I don't have any. All right, uh, that's frustrating. So I may have to go to his angle instead and figure out how it lines up. Yeah, crap. I'm gonna send you a message. You ready? All right. Boop. All right, so I can see it already. That's really weird that this doesn't line up correctly, but I'm gonna put it right there. Line it up, boop, boop, and scoot it over. This all is pointless. Let's do that there, and then there. I'm gonna send you a message, you ready? All right. I would really prefer a wide shot for this, but it's so not obvious from the angle that I apparently chose uh, that I need to use his angle because from Simon's angle, it's just as small of a dot, so his is the only angle that actually shows it being obvious because it lights up his building. No, I don't have any peanut butter. Okay, thanks. See you in the morning. All right. All right, that audio is really annoying. So I'll have to fix that. I'll have to drag it down. I'll have to probably move someone else's audio over and fade it in uh, to get rid of that sting that was coming in because this game does that a lot. But that's basically what I'm going to be doing for this entire thing now to pick the angles. Um, so let's see. I'll have the intro there. Maybe I'll go show you a little bit more. So. Uh, buh, 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 buh. My intros are usually about 15 seconds. I, they're actually pretty reliably 15 seconds. Um, so this is at 3104. Let's just go ahead and go to 4604. Let's put a marker. Nope, I don't want it in there. Marker. All right. And scoot everything over to it. If it'll let me. It doesn't want to snap sometimes. Alright, so let's pretend that's that's my intro right there. So now the video is a little bit longer, but we're still under 30 minutes. I try to shoot for 25 with these. We'll see what happens. Alright, let's look at the actual video. Hey! I can't sleep. I, I need to turn this off. That's really distracting. I know, neither can I. I too cannot sleep! What's this thing? Like... Rebar. Yep, that's a rebar. Oh, I wow. put it there. It's you... for. It's. I'm going for. A, a, I'm trying. To... All right. So, boop. Just get rid of that because all those little quick cuts. Uh, since I cut for audio, I end up with a whole bunch of rapid cuts. Especially, like, yeah. See, it, it just becomes like 100% cut right there uh, with how tightly I put things together, uh, which ends up making the footage look a little nuts. I think. Uh, I had that auger. Oh, that's what I should have done. Let's grab that auger. Oh, whoa, treasure! Huh. So it's not so obvious there because it's on my angle, but yeah, it can get kind of goofy to look at when it's just cut, 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 cut. So uh, I like to stretch them out, only line it up where it actually matters for what they're saying. So if they actually reference something in the game, I'll make sure that lines up. But otherwise, you can smush it down as much as you want and it won't make any difference because it's just a bunch of characters standing around. Anyway, so let's see, I've got my white one here. Hey, I can't sleep. I know, neither can I. I too cannot sleep. What's this thing? Like rebar. Yep, that's a rebar. Oh, I wow. put it there. So what's this thing? 
Uh, it cuts to him, and then he says what it looks like. So that works there. It's, and, for, it's I'm going yeah, just a whole bunch of that. So I'm going to do that because it's hard to talk and do this at the same time, as you can probably tell, because my voice has gotten all like monotone and my fellow Americans. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do that some more, and you'll probably see me again tomorrow at the office for real this time. Definitely for real this time. <laughs> Okay, so it is the next day. I've got to be a little bit quiet because we're actually doing a Twitch stream in the other room and I can't really interrupt it, so I've got to be kind of quiet in here. Um, earlier we were recording, which would have been a lot worse to interrupt, probably. So uh, what I've got to do next is I've got all of my angles picked out here. Um, probably should let you see that. <laughs> so I've got all my angles picked out here. And what I need to do well, first is get rid of that, whatever that was right there, and then zoom in and just start getting rid of all of the spots where there's no spoken audio so no in, no unintentional audio so so you can see right here that simon is clearly speaking and neebs is just kind of an echo of his so i'm gonna get rid of that and do that on all of them so in spots like that i'll just move it over and make everything fit just where the audio needs to be so anything that looks like it's um well we all record in the same room so there's always they're always going to be picking up each other so anything that looks like it's just picking them up from across the room, that's what I'm getting rid of, and I'm going to be doing that probably for the entirety of that stream in the other room. And that's it. Just going to be doing this for quite a while. Sometimes I'll leave little, gap, little gaps like this. Yeah. Probably won't care about that unless it, it's really distracting. And just keep on keeping on until I get to the end. All right, so the stream's actually still going. It's really loud out there now. Um, and I have finished with uh, getting all of the audio cleaned. I kind of skipped a little bit when it was just one of them talking. But now the next step will be to figure out which game audio I'm going to use for everything, and then make it all smoosh together well uh, because not all of our angles actually have got <laughs> I t when there's a stream it's it's like almost pointless to try and concentrate um, let's see yeah so I don't have much audio going on in some of these things so I can't really use his let's see probably just detach this and move it over and I'm going to be doing a lot of that why do I keep doing this to myself I'm slowing down my own thing and I'm already like behind and feeling the heat all right so <laughs> what I just said silently was that I finally have all the game audio where it needs to be because this game has lots of problems and just Sometimes doesn't record audio, sometimes records it completely wrong, uh, and so a lot of people's angles just have no audio at all. So I've moved it all around to have, hopefully have uh, usable audio across the entire video, so I'm going to go ahead and grab all of it, and watch the computer freeze. That's great. There we go. Grab all of it, and I'm going to scoot it down one layer. This is just how I like to do it. There's completely better ways of doing it. It's just how I like to. There's lots of things that Anthony thinks I'm crazy for doing. There's lots of things that Absor thinks I'm crazy for doing. And that's fine because everybody has their own quirks and I'm special. You're crazy. <laughs> all right, so now I've got all, all of my audio crushed down into one layer. I'm going to grab it all and scoot it up because that's how I like to organize it. And then while it's selected, I'm going to do something that Anthony told me about. Instead of manually putting an audio transition on everything to make it sound nice, I can just click that. <laughs> All right, so now I've got all that done. The next thing I'm going to do is grab all of my audio. We've ar I've already run uh, all the vocals through Anthony's special normalizer and compressor in Audacity, but a lot of this is still a little bit too quiet and some of it's too loud, so I'm going to grab everything and change the audio gain across all of the peaks to something more uniform, which will make the shouts a little bit too quiet and the whispers like foghorn too loud, but overall it's going to help me get my audio where I want it and I can adjust it as I go through, so boop. So now I've got all my audio set up, and now I can go through and start adding music in a way that sounds like it's mixed correctly. And now I just need to figure out some transitional shots, do some music, do the audio sound design, which is actually a lot, and uh, <laughs> then it's done! Nickelodeon!
All right, so my next step, now that I've got all the audio sort of where I want it to be, is uh, turn this off so that it's not feeding back. Okay, so the next step is actually put start putting the music in. Um, I do the sound design last because to me it's the le it's the least important part. It adds depth to the video for sure, but the music adds a lot more in my opinion. So what I'm going to be doing is <laughs> getting this window back. All right, so this hopefully is big enough for you over there. Let's see. Burp, 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 burp. So, I'm on the YouTube uh, creator library. I've got a lot on my computer already, but I don't think I have any remaining um, cowboy-ish songs left that I haven't used yet. I've used a different one for every single video so far in this series, so I'm going to try to keep doing that. And I don't know if there's anything good on here left, but we'll see. And now that I've turned off my stereo, I can't hear anything. All right, so I've got to download that. Oh, where to go? I've got to get that plugged in. Crap. I think it'll work really well uh, if I get it in there right. So what I've done is I've downloaded it to the drive that I have. I store all the older projects on and everything as well as all of the resource files so that I can move it over to the active file now. So I've got it inside here. I think it was called Old Friend. Here, beep, 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 beep. And I'm going to copy it over. This is something else that App uh, Anthony completely disagrees with, but something that uh, Neebs really likes to do. So, you know, it's kind of all across the board. Anyway, I'm going to copy it into the music folder here. All right, so I've got it imported into Premiere now, and I'm going to figure out where I want it to start. And what I'm going to do is put in not this whole song, because that's way too long. It will really kind of wear on the listener's ears. So probably around here somewhere, I'm going to copy paste to the end over here. What was What's the word? We're going to get a little bit of the beginning of the song and stick it in there and see how it sounds. Perfect. So I usually have a have the intros around 15 seconds, and that's pretty much perfect right there. All right, so it's going to cut away right on that hit. And let's see. Let's scoot it to be frame perfect. There we go. Let's stretch it out a bit. All right. So I'm going to bring the volume down probably to... Minus three, just so it's not crazy loud right at the beginning. Oop. And see how it goes. Boop, boop. No, I don't have any peanut butter. Okay, thanks. Hold on, how long was it before? Alright, interesting. Something got moved around a little bit, so I'm gonna scoot everything over to match that right there. Oop. And see it now. Okay, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a chance to finish that off so I can just fade everything out a little bit. So I'm going to scoot this over a little bit, drag this over, drag this out, and then around here, keyframe it down. So boop. And then... Boop. Hey! I can't sleep. I know, neither can I. I too cannot sleep. What's this thing? It's like rebar. Yep, that's a rebar. Oh, I wow. put it there. It's you for, it's, I'm going for a... I feel like it's too loud still. Maybe it's just because I'm wearing he headphones, but I'm going to drop it a little bit further. 
Hey, I can't sleep. I know, neither can I. I too cannot sleep. What's this thing? It's like rebar. Yep, that's a rebar. Oh, I wow. put there. It's you... for, it's, I'm going for a, I'm trying to figure out looks. Yeah? I might put rebar on the outside of this whole damn building. Nope, HOA will never go for that. It's tacky. No, I believe you even think of that. It's art. Okay. You want to build something that crazy looking, go down there to Dralis's. Uh, so this is about the spot where it's starting to wear on me at least, and I'm going to try to end it around there. Whoops. So I'm going to go in here, find out what the ending is like. Let's see if I can get it right around there. Let's see if there's a way to fade it in. So this one goes right up to there. Okay. So that's cool. I can probably put it right on this spot and we'll see how it fits. Put a little constant power transition on it and it might actually work. Rallis is death bridge community. Dude, you tell me that you don't think that art comes in all shapes and sizes just because you, if, if, if it makes you hate it, chances are you almost like it because hate and like are really close. Well, I still don't like how long that is because this song is really loud, so we're going to back it up. See if it works there. For a really short intro song, which I try to avoid. I'm going for a, I'm trying to figure out looks. Yeah? I might put rebar on the outside of this whole damn building. Nope, HOA will never go for that. It's tacky. No, it's not. Even think of that. It's art. Okay. If you want to build something that might make it even shorter. So I'm gonna go in here now <laughs> and actually just use this last phrase. Not even phrase. This last note. It's like rebar. Yep, that's a rebar. Oh, I wow. put there. It's you... for, it's, I'm going for. A, I'm trying to figure out looks. Yeah. I might put rebar on the outside of this whole damn building. No. Okay, I don't like how it changes keys a little bit there, but it might work. Let's scoot this over. Hey, I can't sleep. I know, neither can I. I too cannot sleep. What's this thing? like rebar. Yep, that's a rebar oh, I wow. put there. It's for, it's, I'm going for a, I'm trying to figure out looks. Yeah? I might put rebar on the outside of this whole damn... Shoot, I can't do that. Alright, so... Boop. Gotta cut this where it works. Take this all over. To there. But also move this back. And actually just use a completely different... Uh, just move everything over a little bit. So let's see if it works. I might put rebar on the outside of this whole damn building. Nope. HOA will never go for that. It's tacky. Can't no, it's believe not. You even think of that. It's art. Okay. If you want to build something that crazy. Okay, that works. Now let's see if I can get away with doing something to this. See if I can drop the pitch. I didn't quite catch how far I need to drop it, but let's see. I'm going for a, I'm trying to figure out looks. Yeah? I might put rebar on the outside of this. <sighs> All right. So I can't do that because for whatever reason, that effect just completely messes up my audio and skews it across my timeline lately. So I'm just going to have to live with it changing keys a little bit, but I think it'll work. And now I'm going to do that for the entire video. Woohoo! All right, so it is now 5.43 in the morning. Um, I have gotten the soundtrack for it done. I have been behind on this one all week, but I'm catching back up. Um, so what I need to do now that I've done the soundtrack is a whole bunch of other more tedious, th or not tedious things, but more um, just, just like a bunch of little things. So I've got all the soundtrack in here. Everything lines up. I'm, I'm hoping it's all right. <laughs> there's there's a whole bunch of songs that you can as you can see and they're all kind of pieced together uh, they usually have the ends like you know, pasted onto the end of them and all sorts of stuff like that there, there's a song at the end here that's I think in three chunks like one chunk at the beginning one chunk of the middle and one chunk of the end um, yeah it just it just depends on what what I'm going for for each part of the video so Anthony just left I'm here by myself now yes he just left at 5:45 in the morning he's been working on uh, major arc episode, the one where Cooter dies. Yeah. Anyway, 
Uh, let's see. So what I've got to do now is I've got to do. Okay, so I've got to do a bunch of things. I've got to do the sound design, uh, which is probably my next step, and I've also got to do the labels for names because I tend to do them separately. Um, I could attach them to the the video by putting them in another sequence like see all these uh, tabs up here they're all different sequences i could put the names on them in sequences and then pull those sequences in so that the text would just be permanently on there which is actually easier um and more efficient but uh, i don't know for some reason i've stuck to doing it this way just because uh i guess it, it gives me more freedom to move the name out of the way whenever i want without without having to pull in that part of the video or whatever uh separately so that's why i've done that so i've got to do the nameplates, I've got to do sound design, I've got to do sound effects, and I've got to do other things like um, establishing shots, well that's the intro shot, but uh, establishing shots, transition shots, all sorts of stuff like that, and I've got to do the ending. So let's actually do the ending first because it actually involves a bit of music as well, and let's see where that comes from. <laughs> so, I'm going to get that in there. Burp, burp. There's the intro. I'm going to put it in a separate thing. I'm not going to put it inside a folder. And then let's see, where is my ta -ta 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 in screen alpha? I'm not going to drag it to the drive because that's just big for no reason. And uh, I need to get some images. Do I have images in here yet? No. So I need to get the ones for Patreon. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab them from the previous episode because I'm pretty sure it hasn't changed since then. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> There's the eyeballs from last episode as well. All right, so I've got those in there. Let's drag these into images. And now we've got what we need for the outro, more or less. So I can go ahead and get... Let's see. Let's drag this out a little bit. I don't know where I want this to be. Um, I don't know if I want the, the sticks or if I want it to just go to the music. So let's see what it looks like with this. Is insane. That's not insane. That's brilliant. I want to do a ramp. I think you you're brilliant. You want to build a ramp that we can drive the mini bikes up to act as the light in our lighthouse. Yeah, yes. 50 years from After now, that's what everybody will do. Hey, we'll be able to use the generator somewhere else, Absro. Okay. You know that you could use that. All right, if you want to waste time doing that, fine. time doing that fine So I'm going to hit enter to make that render out. I just realized that I haven't been talking. That's neat. So what I've done is I've taken, um, <laughs> God, I've been doing that so much. It's so frustrating. All right. So I'm going to skip a couple things there because it, it's going to take too long to render that for now. So I'm just going to leave it. But um, we do have it cut off to black right there, which means I need to now import another file, where it, which is where I actually have my Simon rating right here. And we're going to just take in the, the entire sequence. I need to put it in a different spot because that's in a silly spot right now. And boop, open this up. Let's copy this out just so that I can be um, nice and, whoa, frozen, uh, <laughs> nice and consistent across all the videos. I always just copy this in just to make sure that it's the same. Um, I should just make it part of the template file. I'm not sure why I don't, but I'm going to put this here. Simon rating, he did pretty well this episode, so I may actually give him a 9. Boop. There we go. Okay, so I've got the outro done. We need to do the intro, but that's not the highest priority yet. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab that footage, because I know where it is, and I'm thinking about it right now. So, that should be under spectator, and I've got a whole bunch of extra spectator footage things, because I usually go ahead and try and record things for myself before recording starts. So that's not going to be useful because it's not at nighttime and I happen to know that I recorded all my stuff for nighttime. So oop, there might be one in here. This is really hard to see. <laughs> Alright, so I've got a couple shots. I haven't lined them up yet, but let's see how they are already. Thanks! They're really dark. It's great. So I need to switch shots right there. Boop. Hey, I can't 
can't sleep. All right. So I'm going to speed this up even further than I already have it. Cool. All right. So that fits pretty well. And now I'm going to have to figure out all the other stuff. So let's see. Let's go ahead and put the thing on that I forgot last week, uh, which is but, oh, not that. <laughs> this guy right here, because that was a problem. And I'm going to have to figure out some color grading because this is really hard to see. So let me bump my monitors back up to full brightness so I can make sure what I'm doing. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. So I'm going to go into my color settings. Whoop and see if we can't make this look a little bit nicer so i don't want to use auto on this because it's going to look crazy but i can pump the exposure up a bit and maybe even the contrast and let's make the shadows a little bit lighter but let's keep the blacks darker let's crush them a little bit all right i don't want to crush them too much or really any mm -hmm. maybe i don't want to crush the blacks all right Let's see if there's any sort of filter that looks good on it. I just realized you probably can't see this. Move that over there. There you go. Alright, so I'm looking at what filters I have that will work for it. Probably not any of them because they're all meant for daytime. Well, you know what? The... Hmm. So if I take what I just did on this one and copy it over, hopefully they'll both be a little bit more visible. Thanks! Hey! I can't sleep! All right, so that's good enough for me, to be honest, and I need to figure out what to do with the intro card here. So I've got to put this on there, and I'm pretty sure it should come in right with that little guitar cue. Boop. Let's see, that's way too bright, so I'm probably going to put a day for night filter on it, and... Sorry, I can't really I can't really think right now. There we go. Day for night, that looks great. So let's see. Let's go ahead and take its whites down a little bit. Actually, no, you know what? Just its exposure overall. It doesn't need to be that bright to show up in this. So now I need to go back to editing. And let's find the basic 3D effect because that is actually how I do this. <laughs> I could use motion tracking. I could go over into After Effects and make this easy on myself. Um, or harder depending on how you think about it but um, I'm going to say negative 99 for distance to image and key that and then we're gonna go to the end I'm gonna just kind of guesstimate and see like that and we're gonna tilt it whoop, because this one's a little bit different than normal all right let's see I may have done really well on the first guess. All right, let's see. That actually looked really good. I don't know if it's hiccuping as much for you as it is for me because OBS is really screwing with me, so I'm going to have to stop use, uh, stop recording again in a second. But let's see. Thanks. Looks fine to me, honestly. I'm not gonna mess with it much more. I need I need to rush through this video anyway. It looks like it's zooming out a little bit too much, so maybe I'll tell it to not a little bit. Let's see. Instead of getting 271 away, let's tell it 220. All right. Let's see. Oh, 
I think it's fine. It, it, I can definitely refine it more, but I think this works really well, so. No, I don't have any peanut butter. Okay, thanks. All right, so what I'm going to be doing now is going through and doing all of my sound design. So I'll show you a little bit of that before I cut off OBS again. So the very first opening line right here, I'm going to extend out because I already know that I'm going to put a delay on Neeb's voice here. So let's see, I'm going to put, how far is he? I'm, let's go with delay knee. Actually, let's just go with the full delay Neebs. Let's take his uh, volume down a little bit. You sleeping, Simon? No. And then Simon... I happen to know is inside at this moment. So I'm going to put a low pass on him. Let's go for 3K because he's not underwater. No. But he's also in the distance. So I need to lower the volume a little bit. And let's put... How close is he? He's a little bit closer to the camera. So I'm going to put less of a delay on him. No. Where are you at? Now we're going to start getting into some murky stuff because the camera keeps moving but let's see put a delay on him you know what i'm gonna go ahead and just copy what he already has volume oops volume low pass and delay copy it paste it onto here oh where are you at are you right up paste on there right outside i'm on the roof on your roof keep going with it on your Extend this out so that there's actually an echo. On your roof? Yeah. Hold on. And then here, his audio just continues straight into his own angle. So I'm gonna put a thing. I'm gonna put a cut there. I'm gonna put a nice um, fade between this one and this one, so I can have those effects on this version, but on here. So. Hold on. I'm g let me get on my roof. Okay. Cool. Okay. So now he should be dulled. He he should actually have the exact same thing here. So, roof. Okay. We should look. Okay. You know what? <laughs> he actually comes outside right there. So I need to get rid of the low pass right here, and then fade them between each other. So now it's gonna change as he comes outside. Okay. okay. We. Yep. All right, so now we're going to keep going with this. Delay, a little bit of volume down. Maybe a little bit more than that. We should learn uh, Morse code. I think that, oh, there you are. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I'm going to send you. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Copy this over here. So same volume and delay. I'm not putting a delay on their own voices right now. I know that they're technically shouting. Normally we would do that, but I'm going to rush through this first real fast and see if I have time to come back. Because right now it's 6.06 .06 in the morning. These videos go live at 12 p.m., which means it needs to be actually posted, like published in six hours. And I have a lot more to do than just editing. I have to make the thumbnail. I have to do all of the uploading, uh, the description, the meta tags, the uh, attribution for all the music that I used, the um, in cards, the cards in the middle of the video that come up with like hey go buy this shirt or whatever uh and everything else like that <laughs> so there's more there's more to it than that and then there's obviously the rendering time and the uploading time as well so realistically if i'm not completely done by nine o'clock uh, so in three hours i'm gonna have a problem so let's get busy with this so yeah that'd be a good idea i'm gonna send you a message you ready all right boop 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 and he says, all right, right on the cusp. I'm not going to bother with putting an echo on it. Boop, boop, boop. But he does talk right here. I'm going to put that same delay and everything on him. No, I don't have any peanut butter. Okay, thanks. And make him a bit louder on his own end so that it actually sounds like he's on this side. All right. Boop, 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 boop. No, I don't have any peanut butter. Okay, thanks. All right, that's looking good, and I'm going to be doing stuff like that the entire way through. So if there's something inside, I'm going to use uh, a reverb, a uh, studio reverb um, that comes with newer versions of Premiere, uh, and set it up to sound like a stone house, like I say here. Uh, if they're inside or underwater, I'm going to use a low pass. If they're in the distance, I'll use a delay. 
stuff like that. Constant power uh, fades between things. And pretty much that is it. So, um, yeah, I'll be coming back to this in a little while once I'm on my next step. Woohoo! All right, as I've mentioned, I am rushing through this. It is now 7.51 in the morning, and I have all of the sound design done, to my knowledge anyway. Uh, if there's stuff I missed, it's just going to stay missed forever and perpetuity. Anyway, I've got a couple things left to do. I need to get the establishing shots for this one place where I do not have anything at all to put there. Um, this is for when uh, Thick went to get his treasure in this lovely place. And I need to add the labels to every angle. And I'm going to actually go ahead and change something real fast because we've kind of decided that the labels in general are too big here. And I'm going to make everything smaller. So to make this a little, hmm, no, 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 I can't just drag it up because then it won't be even across all of them. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and say the font size is 75 now. Looks good. So I'm going to go to all of these and change the font size to 75% of the original. And once, uh, oh boy, God, yeah, this is going to be an interesting time getting all this done on time. Uh, thankfully, our internet appears to be working properly uh, for the first time in ages. So I should be able to upload this quickly compared to the last several times. So this should still go up on time. It's just going to be down to the wire because if I... Gosh, I really need this rendering uh, in like 10 minutes uh, to, to be comfortable for me. But as long as I have this rendering mm, within the next 40 minutes, I should be okay. So what I'm going to do is... God, that's still, that still doesn't leave much time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the footage I need for this one intro. Man, I wonder... I may snake this straight from another one, so... Someone coming in the door? <laughs> I swear when it rains here, it's really kind of freaky because it, it, it keeps sounding like people are trying to come in. Anyway, I need to get a couple things. So I'm going to go over to this. I'm not even going to get new establishing shots. I think I have a stuff. <sighs> Should I, though? Do I have an establishing shot here at all? Let's just double check. Let's see if I don't already have something. Don't feel good about this today. You know what? I have a shot right here. You know what? I'm just going to... I found a couple things inside of this footage that I can that I can use, so I'm going to use it. So there's one shot right there. Perfect. Take it out. Mm, come on. Stick it in. All right. And then I need one more. Let's see. Cool. So I can get another angle right here. And I'll just push in on them in the footage itself instead of doing it with the camera. Cool, so now I don't need to go do that. I can... Alright, let's see. Put that there. Drag this over because I'm pretty sure it goes the whole way. Yep. Put that there. Sure, so... Alright, so now that I've got my two angles in here that I just kind of found from somewhere, I'm going to punch them in a little bit, and ooh, how do I want to do this? So let's have them both zooming out to show more of what's going on rather than less. So this one's going to end at 104% zoomed in because that means I can get rid of that little alpha thing. Uh, and then oop, let's make sure that it's actually going to keyframe everything and then go back to the beginning of it and push it into maybe 110. Let's make it a slow zoom. So perfect. So. Uh, let's go to the other one and do the same thing. So at the end, it's going to end up at 104, not 10. And scoot this down a little bit. Whoop. And at the beginning, it's going to be at 110. Cool. So that means that this now looks like this. I forgot to keyframe, so this one doesn't do anything. Sweet. All right. We're at the beginning. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, come on. I hate the contextual zoom so much in Premiere. It slows me down so considerably. There. Okay. All right. So treasure time. Cool. That's a nice establishing for that area. 
and that's everything there so all I need to do now is add my final labels and like I said I could have I could do this a much more efficient way but instead what I end up doing is going through and putting them manually on every spot so there's Simon's boop and I just oh god oh I should have made a new pass by the way uh, let's go ahead and do that just so I can just in case my labels mess up something boop pass eight it's going to be the label pass. <laughs> Everything else is done. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting to make new passes this time around. I don't know why. Anyway, that is what I'm going to do. Um, maybe I'll come back one more time to show how I export and stuff. But otherwise, uh, this is pretty much the end of the actual editing process. The rest of it is going to be making a thumbnail and all that stuff. Woohoo! All right, I've got all the labels on, and wow, there is a lot of uh, Simon love in this one. And it looks like I have everything. Um, I don't have time to watch this all the way through, as it has been normal for quite a while now. So I just have to take it on faith that... Oh, good. Oh, good. A low-level ex exception has occurred. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save it. But I have to take it on faith that I have done everything correctly, um, and that the video is all right. And Premiere has crashed. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's neat. So, this is another uh, thing that just happens when you're editing sometimes. Let's uh, let's see if it opens up correctly, because I saved it right before all that happened. So, hopefully, we're good. Why is that window right there? That's Did I just like move it there at some point and forget about it? Well, there you go. So, <laughs> you can tell as, as the light goes on, I get more and more scattered. So... Let's hopefully let's hope that this opens up correctly. I'm gonna go. Uh, I don't really have time for one more pass through. Uh, I need to get this rendering as soon as I can. So I'm going to do one last thing, which is lower the Simon score because nine is way too high given how uh, inept he was at the end. But I'm thinking eight will be something that makes all the people happy about his score because last time around I gave him a six and a half and everybody said he needed a t he deserved a 10 for the episode so I guess I'll throw him a freaking bone or something and give him a slightly better, better score this time so let's see I just want to make sure that this intro is still I don't have right. any peanut butter okay thanks it's probably playing terribly for you but um and for me you know what? I don't like the placement of that. I'm going to move it over. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's my safe margins? There we go. Move this over. There. Okay. Just because it's weighted differently. Yeah, there's more side on that. Yep. It balances out better this way. Hey. I can't sleep. I know. Neither can I. All right, I'm gonna have to take it on faith that all this worked out correctly and start my render. So, come on, there you go. So, I'm gonna go to File, Export, Media, and we're gonna use an H.264. Whoa, 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 hold on, we're a little bit big here. We're gonna use an H.264 codec in an MP4 uh, extension. Let's see, make sure it's going to the right place. Pass eight. So this is going to be seven DT, oop, TD, episode 18. Two, I don't remember what we're going to call it. Two mini bikes. Oop, let's leave that out. All right, save. And then I like to use higher settings for seven days to die because of how brutal. Um, <laughs> YouTube tends to be, so I'm going to do a 32 megabit target bit rate and a 40 megabit um, maximum bit rate and use maximum render quality because of the way um, I tend to zoom in and everything. So it's going to end up being about six and a half gigabytes, which will take about an hour on our connection to upload. And this will probably take about an hour to render. So I'm going to go ahead and queue it and wait for this to open up because then I can leverage my GPU to make it render at least a little bit faster. Uh, make sure that I have this open. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off auto and make my CPU fan jump up to 75% and go ahead and hit my render button. Render button, render button? I don't have it yet. It's over there. I'm gonna pull it over here. And 
wait for it to show up, and then I'm going to go ahead and get this going. I'm sure that this video is completely derailed, um, the one that you're watching right now, because I have lost all track of what I'm trying to convey with this, so I'm using my GPU to speed this up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do, 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 turn that off and hit go. So that's going to start um, preparing all my audio first and then getting going with the encoding. So I'm going to go ahead and close this because that is done for now. Uh, once once this is going, it actually has its own version of Premiere that's headless that's just running in the background. So there's no need to keep Premiere open. It just takes up RAM. So I'm going to keep that going. It's going to work crunch on this for a while. And then once it starts going, there will be a little preview here. But having OBS running will slow down my render and slow down publication time. So uh, I will probably show up again when I'm doing something else uh, as far as like uploading or whatever. But that is all of my editing process. Woo! <laughs> all, all that's left is, you know, thumbnail and stuff, and that's if I bother to include it in this video. So if I didn't, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll uh, see you next time. Hasta ventana, hoppers. Bye. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. See, look. look my little, uh, that little tiny uh, thumbnail right there. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. 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 Boom, 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 boom. 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 Boom, boom, boom.